Hello and welcome to the audit today of Art Mex, which is Artistic Iron. We're going to take a deep dive and we're going to be using the SEO power tools to do an audit here to check out and see if uh, it would be a good fit for us to work together. Before I start, I always take a look at kind of what we do. And basically, whenever we engage in SEO, um, we make sure that it's a strategic initiative. And the reason is because chances are you're going to always think about what is the customer thinking? What are they, what do they want? What, how can I serve them best? And so you're going to come up with phrases. If the customer's thinking it, they're typing it into the search engine. We need to know about it so that we can be found for it. That's why when we work on an SEO project with the client, we kind of instill this culture. So all of these slides are going to be sent to you so you can kind of get an idea of what that culture is and kind of how we implement. So who are we? Um, you know, I've kind of been doing this since 1994. I've been in the internet, uh, worked for Microsoft, coached uh, seven figure businesses, uh, been Google nerds from the very beginning and launched a traffic project in 2011 that did over $1.2 million with SEO pay-per-click and uh, social media included in that traffic project. Um, right now, kind of what we've been doing is doing SEO through and through and through. There's been so many changes, so many opportunities that's there right now for SEO. And that's what we've been doing. We've been doing all the education, the certifications, everything you can think of to figure out how we can get to know this particular part of the internet marketing game. And we know that's part of your goals as well to get more appointments. Ultimately, that's what you want through the internet. So your customers thinking it, you want to be found to build brand recognition. So people learn more about you and ultimately refer you more because they're learning about you. You're trustworthy. They type you in, they see your work, they see everything online. That's where you want to go. So the first deliverable that we do for our clients is what we call a complete audit. And as you'll see, kind of when we break this down at the end, I'm going to give you a little bit of an audit here to kind of show you what these low hanging fruit opportunities. And when we do a complete audit, we look at the technical, the content, competitor analysis, the whole nine yards. And I'm going to kind of open up a tool here to show you a little bit of this audit that I have going on. Now, in this particular screen, you can kind of see just a little general audit here. And there's some issues um, with your particular page. You see there's this 11 error number right here. And then you got warnings. And this info kind of represents a lot of things that need to be done, like references, errors and warnings. Um, and kind of the main ones that we're going to look at um, are these duplicate title tags. So you see here right on the screen, these are all the same. And these are all different pages and those shouldn't be the same. And that's why you wouldn't get ranked for those particular pages, if that makes sense, because that's all what you would call duplicate. And that violates uh, what Google would consider to be good. And then you have about 44 warnings and I'll show you another page that we want to rank that could rank is actually missing in a description. And this was the particular page um, that we're looking at here but it's missing a description. So there's, there's no reason why Google would want to rank that one because of that. Now, this is a part of the technical audit because we also look into your competitors, look into your keywords and things like that. And so let's jump on over to keywords because a part of this audit, we also look and see what are you currently ranking for? And you may be getting a little bit of traffic right now. And I think it's a little bit from what we can see on our side, um, but it's because here's some searches, here's what you're currently doing. Um, but unfortunately, unless they know who you are, okay. Cause that's where you're ranking, um, on all these customer, if you see these keywords right here, and this is interesting, you're actually ranking, but look, image, 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 image. What does that mean? Image. Um, and, and let me show you what that means. Cause it's kind of, kind of funny here. Um, Let's go back to here. Um, and what I mean by images is when you search for uh, rod irons and gates or whatever, if you look and see right here, you can kind of see this particular, um, this is yours. That's your image. Okay. So 
it's a shame that you're showing up here, but you're not showing up where it actually counts, which is here, here, and here. Um, so you have the juice to kind of get the image showing up, and that's why in our tool here, you can see that we're triggering the, this, this one page is triggering that image on these particular keywords. So you can see you could be getting 130, 180, 370. And then down here, you see you've got iron, you got all this traffic where you're not even triggering images. Um, and so that's what we want to do. We kind of want to hone in and figure out where part of our analysis is, where you're currently ranking, how can we fix that, okay? And where should you be ranking? And that's kind of where we dive into and here's our overall kind of just the initial stab. We do like 50,000 keywords, but um, taking a little initial stab here, um, about 4,200 keywords, you see there's a lot of traffic here. And I'm targeting kind of low difficulty, meaning stuff that we can actually get your site ranked for fairly easy. Um, and so we can kind of target. And Rod Iron Fence is one that we've kind of looked into, and I will show you here um, in a second. Um, and kind of what that means is, is when we type in, we want to hone in on um, this wrought iron gate and wrought iron fence because we saw that there was some traffic as you saw on that. And here was a page that you already had. And again, I only went on one page. You have multiple pages because I'm, I'm showing you what we can do for you. Um, this one particular page, as you'll see, this gate, seven reasons to invest in wrought iron gates, this is on your site, had an 83% optimization rate. Um, that is one of the sites or one of the keywords that we wanna go after that actually has a competitor that would be easy to nail down and to knock off. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, so as a part of our strategy, um, we do this complete audit, go down to the keyword level, go down to, and I'll show you just a little bit more on the uh, competitor level and figure out what exactly we need to rank. And that's a part of this strategy. So we figure out the keywords. Once we see what's wrong, what's the landscape, what are the issues, what are all your challenges, then we go in and say, where are the places to go? Where are the places to target? And so this complete strategy is what we do kind of with this tool where um, we block in, once we have the keyword that we wanna go after, we then plug it in um, and plug in the page and here's the page that we saw in our analysis and then we see what we need to go after and get. You see there's a lot missing from this page to completely optimize it. So we would go in and we would basically, in each and every content that's written for you, um, this process is followed. And this process basically is optimizing your content based on the competition that you're competing against. And again, that's what I wanted to draw your attention to is this affordable gates. You see, they're kind of sitting here um, in this competition that you could be going after. And we have a spy tool I wanted to show you. This is you, and this is kind of, let's just look at how many links. You got 77 backlinks, which is pretty good. And it looks like somebody's been increasing your backlinks, which is really good. And your competition that we saw there, um, let's look at them. They only have 23. So your particular page is not ranking only the image. Their page is ranking in page eight, the actual um, uh, blog post, which uh, is not even as good looking as yours. Um, meaning their, their particular post that's showing up is this one. You know, so um, you could be doing a much better job showing up your particular page, um, which is this one. Uh, it's got more content on it and could be a better page than theirs, but it's there's problems with it. Um, and as you saw kind of in our tool here, um, the problems is, is that it needs to have the right phrases, the right LSI, it needs to answer the right things, and then, and then it can rank um, with the right links and the right things on it. So um, that's kind of a part of our strategy is honing in on not just this content, but any content that we we dive in, see what's there. Um, we basically want to chunk down each and every content into five low-hanging fruit keywords that we can get. We put that in our analysis so that each and every piece of content we're driving into at least five words. One main word and kind of five secondary words that we're kind of getting to get this bundle of traffic. And we're hammering in a part of our strategy 
low hanging fruit, quick wins, things that you can get now, not words that's going to take forever, words that's going to get you traffic and clients and customers today. Um, and so mapping out all the opportunities, and as you'll see on this page, you can kind of see a little bit here. Um, we have all the, the keyword map, again, mapping out all of these opportunities, they're not mapped. Some of them, 41%, you know, if we, we, we have to go to all of the keywords as part of the process and figure out all the keywords that you sh currently should have and map your current content to that and then optimize your current content to what it should be ranking and to get that traffic. And once you do that, then you'll start to be kicking some major tail and starting to get some traffic. So we analyze and map out all the opportunities and then go for that and basically op optimize the content based on you saw that little editor and kind of kick your website in high gear. The management is basically doing that piece and then doing this on a regular basis because there's more than just 25 keywords, 50 words, like kind of in our video, I showed you 4,000 words, kind of just my initial stab at this and we haven't done a complete audit. Under an hour is what I've done so far and we do over 10 hours. So um, there's a lot to unpack and uncover and figure out what's the best targets and the best words and the best phrases that we can go after. And that's an ongoing thing that we do as a part of this process. We tackle um, at least an article a week and at least a backlink a week. And sometimes more backlinks a week. It depends on the velocity that we're going for. Um, and that's kind of what we do. And we manage the entire thing, track the entire thing as a part of the process. Now, it is a process. It's not overnight. It's not like PPC, which stands for pay-per-click, and that means that you buy it and it instantly happens. This is as you invest in it, you get everything set up properly. It's it's like a house. You know, you want that house to be solid, have a good foundation, have good flooring, have good everything on it so that it doesn't start falling apart. Same way for SEO. Okay, and there's 2,500 plus ranking factors that's all covered in kind of the science that I kind of showed you a little glimpse into today with some of the tools that we use. Um, and more and more businesses are moving online, even businesses that are working out in the street are moving online. Um, and so, you know, having kind of that presence and that discoverable available feel is very, very important. Okay, so in any case, just keep that in mind. Now, here's our eight step process. Okay, you sometimes you see six, five, four, whatever. Um, this is kind of our process that we follow. Now you're gonna get these slides so go back through them. But really, I kind of walked you through using one of our tools of this very process. The technical audit, boom. Content, site, figuring out what's the challenge and problems. Competition, who are those people that you're trying to go against and then figuring out how to target against them, okay? And that's, you got some tools to do that too. Um, update the, the site, okay? Let's get it currently ranking where it should be ranking. Then new, go after new keywords, okay? then get the backlinking things you need to kind of get the authority and the trust. And then we monitor all that and then we update and respond. That's kind of our process. And we make this no brainer for you and easy, easy, easy for you to just sit back, relax and let us kind of take this work on for you. Now, what can you expect? People are always like, when can I get traffic? It's not as quick as pay per click. The payments that you're paying today is an investment in the auditing, the research, the things that's necessary to kind of get you set up for the future. That's why about 30 days from now, that's when we start seeing the traffic. Month one, audit. Month two, implementing the changes from month month. Month three, discovering new territory, writing new content, and, and getting the traffic from the initial kind of phase and then ongoing from there. Um, that's kind of how the process works. So what's waiting for you right now? Again, with the issues and challenges covered in just this initial audit, again, we spent under an hour. We see that you're around 52 visits a day. We got about 4,400 quickly to go after, um, and that's not even doing any additional targeting research. That's under an hour. We should be able to bump you up from 52 to 4,400 and under um, you know, putting our audit and putting our things in place to get it. And this is the low hanging fruit. So that's what's waiting for you. Now, the pricing breakdown for you um, is generally our hourly. And again, this is based on current. You can look it up too. This is not, we're not trying to overinflate here. 
The current rate of doing this work is around $200 an hour. It takes 10 hours to do that audit and that strategy. And again, that's looking at 50,000 keywords. That's breaking it down into categories. That's looking at difficulty, looking at all kinds of things to build out the strategy. Once we have the strategy, once we have the audit, then literally it's managing the audit and the strategy, okay? And that's kind of the pricing that you see down there. And then in every SEO project, you can never get out of this. You gotta have links constantly on an ongoing and you have to have content creating on an ongoing. And we spend high quality, that's $100 times four. That's $400 a month for content writing. And that's the highest quality with graphics, with videos, with nice fonts, fully SEO'd like you saw the strategy. That's what you get with that $100 um, for articles. Um, if you can write the content that we need, that's why we always put that separate. If you can do the links and you can do the content and you can give it to us because the management piece is what we do with that, cool, but um, but we can handle that for you. So let's, let's break it down a little bit. The pricing breakdown, again, this is act now because we have a 25% off going because our normal rates are $200. An hour, even our project management rate is normally 125. We're giving it for 100 um, as a discount. So you can kind of see that to the right. Um, and so there's our pricing, and we have kind of two different things. Um, so we have a with and without. So without retainer, meaning you don't want to be on the hook with any monthly contract or whatever, then you can pay for those audits up front and get a discount and get on 997 plus the $600 for the linking. And again, I can't discount that because that's just a direct fee. Um, and uh, and there you are. So $45.91 today, and that includes the $1,500 for the month and then month to month. Okay, that's the easiest, quickest, and the cheapest way to do it. Um, if you don't want to do, or if you want to do a retainer and you want to save money, I mean, you can't come up with $3,500 today. You want to come up with $2,000 today then it's $2,000 a month. And that again includes the $600. That includes your keywords, your your content, your your links. That's included in that price and your strategy and management and all that kind of stuff for six months. And then it's $15.97 after that canceling time. Um, so just to spell it out, cause some people are like, well, so what's the difference? Here's the difference. So if you do the first one, you do save money. Um, it's month one and then, you know, month two through there and then the other one on the right you see is 2000 and then it's 2000 for the next six months it's a little more over time to do it that way so if you have the money up front and you want to just take care of that cool um if you want to do the one on the right also cool um and again both packages include the 20 keywords per month the four high super 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 high quality articles and backlinks is included in that we don't do any trashy stuff it's all white hat stuff so to spell it out, what's waiting for you is initially that quick, 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 quick audit, about 4,400 visits. This is just quick, easy industry math, 30% CTR, 6% conversion. That's kind of 79 sales times whatever your value is there. Whatever kind of your gate customers equals um, is kind of value. And again, this is ongoing. It doesn't stop. It just gets better. It's not pay-per-click, meaning pay-per-click is is you pay for it and you stop paying for it, it stops. This is you pay for it, you build it up, it keeps going. You don't just instantly fall, especially not the content we create. We create the highest quality content that lasts. Some of my web pages from 1994 are still alive and ranking today because we create super high quality content that stays people engaging and actually converts. That's what you want. You want the content to convert. Your website is not there just to look pretty. Your website there is to get sales and get people engaging and buying from you. So let's do this. Let's figure out how to take this to the next level. And uh, you can contact me and let me know if you wanna roll with option one uh, without a retainer or option two with a retainer. In either case, we are gonna rock your socks off. Have a good one. Anything out of the presentation I gave you tonight? Yeah! Now's your cue. Now's your cue.